The paper presents and discusses new methods to identify, understand, develop, and test novel timber composites for exergy-based adaptive behavior. The aim of the paper is the development of new design integrated methods for the implementation of active responsive materials in architectural construction, focused on application for intrinsic, thermally responsive, and adaptive architectural surfaces. Through material-driven computational studies, the paper presents a material design survey across three groups of responsive timber composites, single veneer elements, bilayers, and functionally graded materials. Finally, through an experimental case study, the research employs a systematic comparative review of their dynamic thermal responsive and structural performance in relation to operative temperature regulation. Due to its high thermal expansion coefficient tangential to growth rings, good transfers thermally activated dimensional changes into responsive bending behavior. The direction and magnitude of this responsive capacity is ingrained in the materials and isotropic characteristics, which are directly related to the anatomy of wood and specifically the fiber direction. Employing a thermal environmental stimuli strategy, the selection of the right material is approached through research and understanding of the microstructural principles that facilitate the thermal actuation of wood. Quarter cut oak veneer of 0.6 mm was selected for its high thermal expansion coefficient tangentially to growth rings, its high material strength and homogeneity of samples, presenting an almost linear grain topology. To maintain consistency among material experiments in relation to environmental stimulation, all material composites are being tested in a custom designed climate controlled environmental chamber. During all material experiments, a maximum of 38 degrees relative temperature was reached, maintaining 30% relative humidity. The climate control setup allows the material composites to undergo several activation cycles under consistent conditions in relation to activation time, ensuring accuracy in the results. The experimental material studies use single veneer elements of 0.6 mm thickness and are based on variations in fiber directionality and material layout. The studies are organized across five fiber direction angles and are combined with three material layouts based on square, rectangular, and triangular configurations. After being thermally stimulated, the material responds by dissipating the stress into an elastic deformation perpendicular to the fiber direction, expressed as bending. The bilayer wood composite used for the research has been developed using two layers of oak veneer, one active and one restrictive, defined by their fiber direction. The research employs veneer elements of opposing fiber directions, tangential and radial to growth rings, with high and low thermal expansion coefficients, respectively. The resulting bilayer composites allows for higher rigidity in larger responsive surfaces and functional variation in responsive curvature. In a functionally graded material, both the composition and the structure gradually change over the volume, resulting in corresponding changes in the properties of the material. This is achieved when two different material ingredients change either gradually from one to the other, or when this transition is performed in a discontinuous way. The research employs a stepwise gradation process to form high resolution wood composites using gradual material layering the position of various grain directionality oak veneer. This material distribution allows for local control of bending stiffness and direction. In the presented prototypical method, binding of the oak layers occurs in the form of local customized PLA snap joints, allowing for control of moving freedom between the elements, as well as reuse of the same elements in other geometrical configurations. Along with the material studies, the simulation, prediction, and steering of the responsive behavior and performance of exergy-based building composites incites research into the development of material-based computational methods and models. The form finding of the reactive elements occurs by assigning the grain orientation of each fiber into weighted values for hinges along the internal edges of the triangulated mesh, corresponding to the material layout. The resultant vertex map of graded weighted values is being informed by the thickness and elastic limitations of the material. The simulation is then recalibrated based on measurements from the physical experiments with the use of infrared camera for real-time object tracking and point cloud expert. The accuracy of the simulation at this level can be up or down sampled by changing the resolution of the mesh topology, eliminating the deviation between physical and digital tests. Through a physical demonstrator of 1.5 by 3 meters, the study explores the thermal responsive behavior of functionally graded multi-grain oak composites in relation to differentiated geometry as part of an adaptive envelope demonstrator. 
The specimen consists of 50 reactive multilayer oak veneer elements of various grain directionality, leading to single, double, and multidirectional bending. The dimensions of the elements used for the responsive composites were defined through an environmental benchmark model created in Ladybug plugin for Grasshopper. The model displays a parallel evaluation study of how the various bending states of the responsive membrane affect the amount of solar energy passing through the composite membrane, providing the designer with a direct relation between material behavior and environmental performance. The system is developed around overlapping cells of 300 by 300 millimeters using snap joints for binding the various oak veneer layers together, interlocked with CNC joints along their edges. The configuration ensures structural rigidity while minimizing weight. The case study proves that the integration of a hybrid material-driven adaptive workflow from design to production can inform the design chain with a series of critical results, allowing for high-precision performance steering of responsive systems. Even if oak is considered homogeneous wood type, it is still required the detection method of wood directionality. At the same time, the assembly strategy of tailoring responsive composites combining multiple elements overcomes the dimensional limitations of quarter-cut veneer and allows for the production of increasingly larger systems. Material calibration over production as well as material fatigue can affect the operational life of the system and should be included within the design process. The case study is a limited inquiry and further work is needed to evaluate the performance of the exergy-based building composites for the development of adaptive material systems across multiple samples and scales with different strategies of differentiation. Further exploration needs to occur for the development of adopted and adapted design methods that can interface various resolution data between the prototypical material studies, the computational model, and the fabrication process. Finally, along with the various grain material deposition that is being investigated in the presented study, the shift towards a multi-material layering could introduce new hybrid properties in the responsive architectural system. Thank you very much.